Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. In today's video I'm going to show you guys something pretty amazing. You probably already read the title of this video so you already know what it's all about. But first of all I'm going to explain you really shortly what actually is going on here today. So first of all there is absolutely no way on getting two Titan V's to work with an SLI bridge or an NV Link bridge. And if you think like, hey, Buried One, how did you pull this off? Because it is fairly impossible to get two Titan Vs to work together. Well, if you have heard about DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, you're on the right address. Because DirectX 12 now supports multi-GPUs on their API. So there's only a handful of games that I will also make benchmark videos about. And these games actually support the SLI of multi-GPUs. So in today's video we're going to be benchmarking on the Ashes of the Singularity. This is a 4K resolution game that you can put on crazy graphics and you can turn everything up the wildest you can go. But using two Titan Vs makes this one of the most awesome things you have ever seen. So I decided to make a video in 4K 60 frames per second and I tried to capture the entire benchmark. So it's pretty amazing to see but I'm gonna give you one more tip. So we use a Xeon E5 2667V2 with 3.9 GHz overclock because it wasn't able to handle it on 3.3 GHz because we also had to have power for recording the video. So we had to overclock our CPU a little bit more than we used to and that resulted in not a, having a bottleneck on the benchmark. So what you're going to see is 90 frames per second but actually 60 frames per second 4K video on YouTube. But I warn you guys there is a way that you're gonna have some serious trouble using or viewing this on your computer if your internet is not strong enough or if your monitor can't handle it. So you may have to tune it down, but here is the benchmark.
So now that we have unlocked the journey on how to get SLI working on Titan V's, we're gonna look off for different games that also support DirectX 12 and multi-GPUs. So of course I will make way more videos than this one, benchmarking multiple kind of games and benchmarks for you. So make sure to stay subscribed and leave a like if you like this video. So hopefully I see you guys in the next one.